Hey guys, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Look at my character. Look how crazy she looks. She looks like a murderer, dude, which she actually is. And dual wielding two axes. I'm actually trying to get the two double-handed axes because that's going to be that's going to be a build that I really want to work on. But enough about that. In this video, we're talking about how to upgrade a weapon and make it as strong as you can. So there's two ways you can upgrade all of your weapons in the game. So if I head over to my inventory over here, we can obviously see what loadout I have. And if you do want to actually do what I've done here, I actually am wearing a helmet and like a, a cloak as as well as a torso piece you can actually just um, hide these you can literally see there is a button here that says hide gear literally just do that and you can actually put your gear back on if you want to wear all your gear or if you want to be like badass and you want to see all your tattoos and stuff you can do that too and take the gloves off maybe look like that. that that actually looks pretty cool as well so you can actually see the tattoos that I'm wearing but enough about that, you can see all of these weapons here have been upgraded at the blacksmith once onto a superior quality, which is this kind of bronze sheen that it has. You know that the base quality is this like common one where it's kind of got the grayed out area. And to upgrade your weapons and armor to that kind of quality, obviously you have to go to your blacksmith, which you can find in your very own kind of village that you've that you've created as long as you've made the blacksmith building, which is a something you should do right at the beginning. And you just go to this guy and ask him to upgrade your gear. And you can actually go to your different gear here and you can see the resources that you need. So carbon ingots, which you actually get usually as wealth around the world as the little kind of golden, like little highlights around your map. There's a good chance that usually some of those will be wealth and you'll be able to get a carbon ingot. And this is what you use for enhancing your gear in terms of its quality. So if I scroll down here and I go find a, a weapon, let's see, um, this one's a two-handed one, there's a flail, there's a hammer, there's a dagger. Maybe I want to upgrade my spear, because my spear is a low quality, it's just a fine spear. I want to upgrade it to a superior spear. And to do this, I just hold it, and boom. Now it's upgraded in terms of its quality. And you'll see that those two little white rectangles over there have now been duplicated, so there's now two extra rectangles there that aren't in white. Now that actually lets you upgrade your gear again from your own kind of part, so you don't actually have to come to the blacksmith for this part. Just go to inventory yet again. I'm going to go straight to my spear. I'm going to equip it quickly. Or actually, you don't even have to equip it. You'll see there is a upgrade option right over there. Now, this actually works with where that kind of bar is over there where you see the two like white rectangles and then the two next to it that aren't in white. Now, when I upgrade this and I hold right click in, you'll see it will cost iron and another resource I believe is leather. Yeah, it's it's leather there. So it's iron and leather and you use this to actually upgrade your, your stats there. You see if I right click this here, I don't have enough materials to upgrade it right now, but you can see that it increases the attack by six, the stun by five and the crits pre. So this is a great way to give your weapons that you're really using a an enhanced kind of like edge. Obviously you have to be very careful with this because iron is kind of difficult to get a lot of so you really have to like work your ass off to find enough of it. But for your favorite weapons it's really a good idea to upgrade them to as well as high as you can go. And also equipping runes that can add extra effects. Like you see my two axes over here. One has 4.9 critical damage and the other one has 2.4 plus attack. Now the same goes for armor. You can do the exact same thing for armor, upgrade it and kind of keep it strong. Obviously the very first upgrades are quite cheap and they get more expensive as you go on, costing more iron and more leather. And those are the two ways you can upgrade your weapons and your armor in Assassin's Creed Valhalla to make your character as strong as possible for whatever build that you are using. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.